Greetings, my friends. Please consider supporting me in my war to save pop culture by subscribing to my channel and possibly even becoming a channel member for exclusive videos, access to Doomcock emojis, and more. And if you like this video in particular, please consider using the new Super Thanks feature and putting a tip in the tip jar located next to the like buttons down at the bottom of the video. Thank you for watching, and now, on to the video. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, and today I come before you with some rumors gathered by my Hollywood spies that, if true, finally fill in the gaps regarding our knowledge of what went wrong between Kathleen Kennedy and John Favreau on Book of Boba Fett, and why Disney worries that Favreau may well quit Lucasfilm and move on to greener pastures at Warner Brothers. I also have some indication of why all the leaks about Kennedy are suddenly coming my way after a long drought where I was hearing absolutely nothing about her, and I will also be presenting this information to you good people before the end of this video. So in my previous videos regarding this situation, I laid out rumors to the effect that Kathleen Kennedy and John Favreau actually hate each other at this point, so much so that not only will they not be in the same room together, they will not even appear in the same Zoom calls. This is an extremely active kind of hatred, even for Hollywood, a town that is built on fear, hatred, resentment, and revenge. And it's no wonder, given that Kennedy really has no business being in the position she's in. She doesn't love Star Wars, doesn't care about Star Wars, doesn't know about Star Wars, hates Lucas and all his characters, at least all his white male characters, and insists on inserting her own ideas into the work of people who actually know what they're doing, which is always a recipe for creative disaster. In short, although Favreau and Filoni are in charge of Star Wars, having someone as vapid and ill-informed as Kennedy in the president's chair is still a major impediment to Favreau due to the ever-present possibility of harassment and sabotage that of necessity coincides with her lofty position. In other words, Gilligan isn't in charge of anything on the island, but just by virtue of him being there, he still finds ways to fuck up the escape plans of the Skipper, the Professor, Ginger, and Marianne. Yes, just like a turd in the pickle barrel. It doesn't matter that 99% of the contents therein are pickles. That 1% of poop is sufficient to taint the entirety of the contents. Kennedy, simply by being there, is able to harass, distract, infuriate, and otherwise derail anyone trying to do good work on Star Wars. Indeed, you have both grasped the Kennedy conundrum here. Even without direct control over Star Wars, from her perch atop the pyramid, she manages to rain shitty pickles all over Star Wars. Indeed, I have a rumor here that she has weaponized her own obnoxiousness. I have been told that James Gunn is actively gunning for Favreau, not to put him in the ground, but to put him in a position to work at Warner Brothers instead of Disney. In essence, putting the band back together in an atmosphere, shall we say, more conducive to creative work. You mean an atmosphere free of the vapid vapors venting from that venal vampire Kennedy, don't you? Kennedy is the ultimate recruitment tool for any company that does not employ her. Yeah, you can pretty much guarantee that people looking for a new position in Hollywood will find not having to deal with Kennedy a major incentive to sign up. Like a wet bar in the office, a jacuzzi in the break room, or a guarantee that painful spikes will not be driven into your head during company meetings. Yes, Harvey. And indeed, if the following rumor is true, Kennedy is weaponizing her ability to annoy the shit out of people. Case in point, John Favreau. At this point, I must tell you that the information I'm about to share with you is information provided to me by my Hollywood spies from sources claiming to have knowledge of the situation inside Disney and Lucasfilm, but since I cannot personally verify what I'm about to tell you, I must present this as unverified rumor, and I ask you to please take it with a grain of salt. So, to begin this sad and sorry tale, I remind you of the rumor regarding James Gunn, who has jumped over to Warner Brothers, trying to recruit Favreau to join him there. According to sources speaking to my Hollywood spies, quote, 
We put our source on the trail of this new information to deal with John and KK. This is what they found out. According to this source, Kennedy knew that Warner Brothers and James Gunn are both trying to tempt not only John but others over to DC. Kennedy was actively trying to make Favreau's life a living hell. She was interrupting putting her own ideas in, and she was making people go in and present other ideas of hers as their own to try and trick Favreau into using them. She was doing everything in her power to make Favreau's life hell in order to get rid of him. As she sees it, with no John around, Star Wars goes back to her." Unquote. And this is where the Vespas and the mods came in. Oh shit, the Vespas! I knew that idea reeked of KK. This is the kind of idea that comes from a secretary who has made one too many cups of coffee in her career? Is this what finally pushed Favreau over the edge? Well, the reasons for the animosity between Kennedy and Favreau are many and varied, Harvey, but the following incident does appear to be the gaffy stick that broke the Bantha's back. The information I'm about to share was brought to us by one of our trusted sources, but then was also confirmed by a walk-in source who even added more detail. So I feel that while I must present this as a rumor, it seems likely that some variation of what I'm about to tell you actually happened. Here's what I was told, quote, According to this individual, Disney sent down a mandated toy line and they wanted a vehicle that could be easily added to the show. They sent some concepts to the production team, and according to this individual, Robert Rodriguez took it upon himself to design this vehicle, and afterward, he took the designs to John. John didn't like them, and told him no way, redo them." Unquote. To be clear, the vehicles in question are the Vespas. My Hollywood spies continue, quote, John thought this idea was dead and forgot about it. Well, Rodriguez went to KK with the designs, and as soon as she learned that John didn't like them, Kennedy was 100% for putting in the Vespas. John didn't find out about the Vespas till one showed up a few months later for props, and when he saw it, he was livid. And Favreau tried to get some changes, but Kathleen Kennedy had already spent too much money to back out. Allegedly, John tried to warn Disney what would happen if they put those Vespas in there, and he was told again, we've already spent the money, and that was when he told them, fine, you can have this show, I'm going to go oversee Ahsoka, and he left." Unquote. Just to be crystal clear, your sources are saying the reason Favreau left Book of Boba Fett was he was sick of Kennedy's oversight and her input on the show sneaky and covert as it was, and the breaking point was the Vespas. They were Rodriguez's idea, but Kathleen Kennedy loved them. Or rather, Kennedy loved that Favreau hated them, and so pushed for them just to irritate Favreau in the hope that he'd quit. That is an accurate summary, gentlemen. This kind of petty harassment and infuriating interference and sabotage is the reason why Favreau may be looking to jump ship and swim for warmer, calmer waters. I believe this may well be the reason why I'm getting all these leaks all of a sudden. I'm the canary in the coal mine, and some interested parties are leaking this information to me in order to sound the alarm that John may leave with an eye toward putting pressure on Disney to fix things and prevent the defection. I was told earlier, as I mentioned in a previous video, that Disney isn't taking the possibility of Favreau quitting seriously enough, and that's exactly how Kathleen Kennedy wants it. Sadly, according to my Hollywood spies, it does not appear that help is on its way anytime soon. My spies tell me, quote, As we understand it, while Bob Chapek knows Star Wars needs fixing, he is going to focus on Marvel. Unfortunately, the board is not ready to make any kind of moves against KK for whatever reason, so till they are willing to have that battle, the only way he can make a difference is to continue letting KK bring Star Wars down. He knows this is not the way forward, but right now he sees no other alternative." Unquote. It's an axiom in Hollywood, I suppose. The bigger the asshole, the better the contract. Kurtzman at Paramount. 
KK Disney, these cultural vampires suck the life out of a franchise protected by insane contracts that shield them from any consequences. It's simply too hard to break such onerous devices, no matter the provocation. Sadly, this seems to be the case, Skull of Calderon. My friends, all of what I've just told you has been confirmed by three different sources, I'm informed, at three different times. And so take it with a grain of salt. But where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And there's a lot of smoke here. If these rumors are true, we may finally have some answers about what went wrong on Book of Boba Fett and an explanation of why it happened if Avro leaves. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 